what is up with it, your resident do fanatic returns. Finally, with another addition into the International Mountain Dew flavors, uh, that series that started way back with uh, Blue Shock feels like seasons ago, and well, I suppose it's because it has been. At the same time I got that box with the Blue Shock and the Supernova came Mountain Dew Passion Fruit Frenzy all the way from New Zealand. Um, you know, political climate's not great there right now, but we gotta get that citrus flair, so maybe they know what is up in terms of dew, and we're gonna figure that out today. Now, of course, this flavor's been there for quite a while, and I could have done this much sooner, but you know, we kept having new flavor after new flavor, and this was just sitting here in my house, and it wasn't a priority while we had new things stateside, so I'm excited to try this. Passion fruit is not something that I can honestly say I've had before. If I have, it was certainly not something I was cognizant of. I've definitely had something that smells like this before. Very, uh, I almost want to say generic. Like, you know how it has this yellow, very uh, vibrant color to it? I want to say there's like a freezer pop that was similar to this in smell, at least. So, let's give it a try. And in taste, I would say, as well. Definitely have that citrus, I mean. It's um, a little syrupy, but it, it has some tartness to it. I'm not an expert on passion fruit. It's not something that, uh, you know, like an apple, you, you pick it up and eat, or a strawberry, orange, anything like that. You know those flavors. They're classics. Maybe passion fruit's a classic flavor for somebody, but, you know, me, not so much. It's, it's definitely the most unique, because Blue Shock felt like something you had before, and of course I had it in Slurpee, but in terms of it being like other sodas, there was that, and the Supernova Finish version, that was almost like a drinking a tea of sorts because of that raspberry flavor, you know, there's, they've used that artificial flavor in certain teas. Brisk comes to mind. But the Passion Fruit Frenzy. Again, I feel like I've had it as like a freezer pop or something of that nature, but never as a drink. It's it's very weird, very uh, tart, so it has a flavor balance to that syrupiness. So I don't know. I would be happy with this in a way if this was, you know, I had regular do and this to have access to. You know, if, better than having nothing else at all. But it falls lower on the spectrum of flavors that I've tried in, in terms of rankings upon first taste. I don't know. It's just, it's different. And a lot of the ones that have been more tart have not been for me. Uh, Sangrita Blast, for those of you who know, you know that one comes to mind. So, if you've ever had the opportunity of trying the Passion Fruit Frenzy before, let me know in the comments. Uh, let me know your thoughts on it, and if not, hey, you might want to import yourself some, or if you're in New Zealand, you know, say, hey, the Do Fanatic respects you. And the next thing you'll probably be seeing me for, unless there is a major change in what's coming up with Mountain Dew, if they drop something out of the blue that I have no idea about, idea about we are going to be doing a little... Revive Revolution campaign, if you will. So, Lord willing, that will be the next thing you see details about, and hopefully the next video that drops on this channel. So, be here, because it's time to stop being silent about it. And, as we gather again for that, we will, of course, do the do.